All right, good morning, good morning. It's uh, about 10.15 in the morning. A little later start today because i um, got a lot of things to do. But it's also Friday. Friday is usually a, uh, you know, into the 1, 2 a.m. mornings. Now I'm getting over some personal health things, but, uh, you know, I'm getting there. So, we're going to get this day started. All right, so uh, we're down here in Miami, West Miami. Uh, clients that flew in yesterday, I brought them down for a friend. Well, got them for the weekend. Make it happen, Captain. Um, so there's a lot going on uh, in rideshare, right? Especially out there in California, New York, everybody's trying to become employees. I think you're stupid if you want to be an employee. I don't think you realize all the missed opportunities you're going to get. Uh, you know, one YouTuber came out yesterday talking about multi-apping. You want to have the ability to do that. So if you're a driver and you drive for, let's say, Uber and Lyft, Uber, Lyft, Postmates, whatever. Um, if you're an hourly employee, you can't do that. You can no longer maximize your opportunities uh, when driving because you'll be obligated to a particular app whether you're getting rides or not because now you're a minimum wage employee not only that all the costs that they're going to incur workman's comp uh, insurance benefits taxes all of that stuff's got to be paid for and uh you know another thing too with workman's comp y'all gonna get drug tested now, i don't do drugs the strongest thing i take is aspirin um but y'all gonna get drug tested Y'all going, uh, going to have to get fingerprinted. I'm good being fingerprinted. I'm a military vet. I'm already in the system. So these are just some of the things that, you know, you need to consider when you want to be an employee. Um, and the other thing, too, is it it's going to hamper you from creating multiple streams of income. Listen, if you're a driver and you're an independent contractor, quit treating this shit like you work for a fucking bank. You're a business owner. Treat it like a business. Just because Uber and Lyft are dominant and have apps doesn't mean you can't go out and develop your own clientele and develop your own apps. Who the hell said you can't do that? Anyway. All right, my clients are coming downstairs. We'll talk more about this later.